uh, now the medial side of the two cerebral hemispheres this is the medial surface or medial side starting from the center till the periphery here the optic chiasm this part is the diencephalon this here the optic chiasm lamina terminalis of the hypothalamus the anterior commissure rostrum which is part of the uh, corpus callosum rostrum genu body and splenium which is all part of the corpus callosum this is the septum pilocedum and the fornix so fornix septum pilocedum rostrum genu body splenium of the corpus callosum now go for the cerebral hemisphere this area below the rostrum or below the anterior end of the corpus callosum is called the uh, the subcallosal area subcallosal area and it is also containing a bar or factory area more anteriorly goes this one gyrus is the singular gyrus here around the corpus callosum and around along the callosal sulcus this is the callosal sulcus callosal sulcus singular gyrus till a narrow end of the singular gyrus called the isthmus of singulate gyrus this is the isthmus of singular gyrus above the uh, singular gyrus and separating it from the medial frontal gyrus is the cingulate sulcus this is the cingulate sulcus from here to here cingulate sulcus at the end or posterior end of it uh, uh, projecting upward till the superior margin is called this part is the marginal sulcus from here to here is the marginal sulcus this is the medial frontal gyrus that is continuous with the superior frontal gyrus okay here and around the upper end of the central sulcus here the central sulcus around it area of the cerebral cortex is called the paracentral lobule paracentral lobule limited posteriorly by the marginal sulcus and anteriorly by the paracentral sulcus this is the paracentral sulcus and this is the marginal sulcus and here the cingulate sulcus from this side anteriorly the uh, medial frontal gyrus more posterior to the marginal sulcus and limited by the parieto occipital sulcus here area is called the uh, preconius this area preconius corresponding more superiorly and laterally to the parietal loop of the brain this is the preconius from the marginal sulcus to the parieto occipital sulcus here the parieto occipital sulcus and this is the calcarine sulcus calcarine sulcus have two arms the anterior arm and the posterior arm together with the parieto occipital sulcus forming Y shaped. The common arm is the anterior arm of the calcarine sulcus, and the two arms, other arms, is the parieto occipital sulcus and the posterior half of the calcarine sulcus. The area that is restricted by the calcarine and the parieto occipital is called conius. This is preconius and this is conius. More inferior to the posterior arm of the calcarine sulcus is the lingual lobule or lingual gyrus of the occipital lobe.